Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. In the last video, we finished up World 1. We came to World 2 and did the first two levels, and now we're going to do the third level of World 2. Cool Cave. Why there's a Cool Cave level in a world called Hotland, I'll never know, but that's going to be irrelevant. Let's go ahead and just get started. This level, if I remember correctly, is actually pretty long. So we'll be spending a lot of time in here. I do love the design of this cave, though. I think it looks really, really beautiful. But yeah, the uh, main mechanic of this world is we have a bunch of, like, rising platforms. We have bats. Just a lot of different things, really. But yeah, we'll have to use the uh, little yarn balls to actually um, lower and raise the landscape. We'll have to do that to grab treasures, we'll have to do that to basically just get through as well. Like right here, we'll have to actually raise it again so we can get it past this part. As usual, be careful of parts like that, because if you get squished, you will lose a lot of beads and you do not want that to happen. Although, in this case, it'd actually be pretty easy to get. Also, right here, you have to use your white Kirby to actually get through. Do I have to do that here, or no, I have to do it over here? Also, what's this right here? Oh, wow. Okay, this light actually shows us where we can find some beads, so that's good. And we have more of these little tight passages, too. Okay, right here, you have to be a little careful. You have to... Use your weight, and then immediately use your parachute so you can get in this little hole right here, which will take you to the first treasure. The crystal. Now we're going to keep going, go a little further. And we can actually move on now. Okay, for this monster right here... You can just try to squish them with your weight. That's all you really have to do. Then just go down here to grab the beads that you revealed earlier. Now, one thing you will have to look out for when you're squeezing through these uh, little tunnels is sometimes you'll actually have an enemy that will follow you, like right there. And you do not want that enemy to catch up with you, because as you might expect, he will actually cause you to lose your beads. So just... Move fast and move carefully and you should be fine. You can just barely see the little openings of where, where they're actually going to come after you, so just keep a lookout for those. Like there's one right there, so I'm not going to quite go right there at this moment. I'm going to go through this little tunnel, see if I can find some more beads before I continue. Yeah, I think we have enough, so let's go ahead and go on. Oh, the beads actually disappeared. Well, that sucks. Eh, it wasn't anything major, so it's not going to be a big issue or anything. Uh, one thing I actually like that I didn't really even mention is that depending on the enemies you actually grab and, like, whenever you throw them, uh, some enemies will actually do different things. In the case of those bats, you actually hurl three different bats in, like, three different directions, which is pretty cool. And I believe in the Beanstalk level, if you grabbed the little green enemies, you could actually, like, they could actually home in on other enemies, so that was kind of cool. Anyway, right here, there is actually a treasure, but we can't get it at this moment. We have to be kind of creative with this. We have to get this spike ball over, so he'll destroy these blocks, and then we can grab the treasure. Pretty clever, isn't it? And we get the uh, Cool Cave CD. And I'm surprised I didn't lose any beads right there. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Okay, be careful of this part right here, because... As I said before, you can easily get squashed right here. And, uh... Sometimes you can go a little fast for your own good, and you won't even realize that you get smashed, so... 
Just be careful and proceed with caution and you'll be fine. Okay, looks like there's going to be an item up there. Let's go ahead and grab this. Ah, more beads. And we can get up there once we get on this big one. Oh, da what? Okay, see, like right there I got smashed when it didn't even look like I deserved to get smashed right there more reason that you just have to be very, very careful when you're doing a level like this. No, I didn't want to go in there. Let's just move forward and get out of here before it's too late. And down here you can actually grab this little star thing. Oh, and here's actually a cool part. You have like these, uh, stalactites that fall from the ceiling. Or not the ceiling, but basically any suspended platform or ceiling. But yeah, have you guys noticed how long this level is yet? We've already been, like, in this level for almost seven minutes, so... That's what I meant when I said this is a long one. Also, you'll have to use this guy to actually get up there. I don't think it's a treasure or anything, but I think it is definitely something worth checking out. It's probably just an ending piece. Yep. Figured as much. And be especially careful right here. Okay, yeah, this part's kind of tricky. Tricky to maneuver. I think you just jump on this lag tight and get up here. Okay, yeah, that's how you do it. Now, I'm gonna ignore that. Well, no, I'll go ahead and grab it while I'm over here. I know, I can't make up my mind. Good, made it up here now. Let's keep going. And there we go, okay, good. Yeah, that part took a while, and right here we have a transformation, but it is one we've actually seen before. And uh, this is actually the first appearance of the mole, if we didn't see it back in the other level. So yeah, we'll have to use the mole again, which is pretty cool, I like the mole. I like the concept of it, anyway. As a transformation, it definitely is not my favorite, but I do like it. So yeah, just be on the lookout for beads, especially hidden beads. Because I did just realize that we still haven't quite met the uh, gold medal requirement yet. Also, those guys can't be destroyed, so just be careful when you're dealing with them. Oh god. Didn't notice that guy over there. Okay, we made it up to the gold medal rank, finally. That's just the least of our problems, though. Okay, wait, before you leave, make sure you go up here, because this is the only way you can get the treasure, and if you miss it, well, you miss it, so make sure you grab that frog mirror before it's too late. And then we just grab the ending goal again. Aw, oh, dang it. Oh, well, we actually, like, barely made the gold medal right there.
And we didn't get a lot of beads for that either. And we get the torch patch. And yeah, yeah, like that level took like 11 minutes almost. Well, more like 10 minutes. Still though, very long level. And I love the animation for this. I thought this was like very clever. Ah, oh, what a hungry little dinosaur. And speaking of dinosaurs, that's the next level we have. Dino Jungle. Not to be confused with Dino Dino Jungle from Mario Kart Double Dash. And Mario Kart 7, because that track was in that game. This level is cool. This is probably my favorite level of the uh, World 2 levels. Just because of how creative it is. But yeah, as you can see, we have dinosaurs. Very awesome dinosaurs. I also love the music for this level, too. Oh, I love these, uh, pterodactyls. Or whatever you want to call these things. Ah, oh, but these are cool. These guys are cool. You ride on their heads like a raft here. Because this level is dinosaur themed, I already have a very, very appropriate title for this video. I'm not going to say what it is, though. I honestly wouldn't need to, because you guys can already see it, so... It really isn't any kind of point. But yeah, those guys are like the bats, although these guys also home in on other enemies, too. Very helpful, especially for a part coming up here. Shoot. I believe you want to grab onto these guys because... Yeah, you want to grab that. Did I miss the first one of those? I guess I did. I must have missed it without realizing, though, that's for sure. But anyway, here is the first treasure. A torch. Much like the one we used to get into this level. Oh, no, 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 dang it. Well, either way, you don't have to use these guys to beat the level, but it does help. Can I actually go under this? It looks like you can. Okay, yeah, you can. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm kind of short on beads, though, but the, I think the level just kind of began, so... Probably don't really have to worry about this. And yeah, the dinosaur heads here kind of work like the flowers from uh, Flower Fields. Only difference is you don't actually get beads for walking around the entire dinosaur head. Yeah, I want to grab those beads. Actually, wait before I go up there. Oh, okay, yeah, that first one, the first of those endings actually right there. Never mind then, I thought I actually missed it, but nope. It was just very, very carefully hidden in a very, very careful location. Oh, wait, before before you go on... Oh, no, 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 dang it! Uh, I don't know if I missed a treasure or anything, but I did miss a star bead at the very least. Well, actually, no, maybe I can get up there.
uh, requires a very careful jump. Turn around. Nope, not gonna work. Oh well. We'll keep going. I think I I think the only thing I'm missing by doing that is missing that star bead. Which I don't think I'll even need that. No, I'm I'm not gonna need that. Wow, those snails actually kind of tripped me up there a little bit. I have to admit, I'm actually kind of impressed. But anyway, over here we have the Dino Jungle CD. Still need one more. Oh, wait, I think I actually missed the treasure. Well, shoot, I'll probably have to do this level again then. Oh, well. I'll just show where the treasure is off camera. I don't need to do the entire level again for you guys. Even though I do like the level and I approve of it, I don't want to waste your guys' time either. Well, I don't know. Maybe I haven't missed it yet. I really feel like I have, though. Oh, maybe not. I think that this thing is probably going to show where it actually is. Well, let's just see. Oh, nope, there it is. The Bronto slide. Okay. Never mind. So yeah, they can definitely be out of order. I didn't realize they were that much out of order, though. And yeah, don't get squashed in their teeth, because that is not going to be good. And here we go. The ending's right here. See if we can once again get the biggest bonus. Yes, alright. And you know what? I think I might actually have enough time to show the boss fight, too. Because that is actually what's going to be next. And then the next video can just be a bunch of extra stuff. Where I can actually show off the second type of minigame, and then probably also the two bonus levels, too. Oh, I really love the animation for this one, too. It's kind of creative how the chili pepper actually causes the volcano to erupt. But yes, here's the boss of this world, Hot Wings. Now this boss can actually be kind of tricky. But for the most part, you'll have to fight him in essentially the same way you fought the first boss of the game. So here we go, here's Hot Wings. The first thing Hot Wings is going to do is he's going to fire these birds at you, grab them, and then throw them back at him to grab some beads. And before he actually um, becomes unconscious or becomes conscious, yeah, do that so you can actually grab all the. Dang it! Oh, I can. Oh, dang it! What very, very bad timing. Oh, well, I still grabbed everything. Yeah, dodging those rocks can actually be pretty, pretty tricky. And also watch out whenever he does that attack. He does it twice, so keep that in mind. And then he'll repeat the uh, phase all over again. Okay, grab all the beads. We're up to gold already. That's good. But it's not over yet. Oh, dang it! Once again, very bad timing on my part. Yeah, it's really hard to dodge those rocks if you're not careful. That's probably the hardest part of this fight. Oh, 
dang it. Well, if you get hit, just make sure you grab all the beads before they disappear. And this part right here can also be kind of tricky because he shoots so many of these guys at you. But all you gotta do is just hit him one more. Aw, oh, dang it! Lame. I was just a little bit too late in that regard. But I think he's just gonna do this part again. Okay, there we go. Grab the beads, and before he gets back up, he's dead. Well, maybe not dead, but... Well, I guess he was unwoven, so... Whatever. Boss defeated, world completed. Or the main part of the world. And as usual, we have a cutscene right after this, so we'll be watching that. And we also got the Hot Wings music, and the Hourglass patch. We did it! We got the magic yarn! The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Meanwhile, back in Dreamland, the Waddle Dees were very busy inside Castle DDD. Let's go! Hop, hop, no slacking off! barked King DDD. Just then, the king noticed that one of his Waddle Dees looked a little. Uh, <laughs> strange. That Waddle Dee was actually one of Yin Yarn's creations. <laughs> Soon Dreamland will be wrapped around my knitting needles. Yin Yarn cackled. What sort of plan was he stringing together? Yes, beware of his knitting needles. Okay, well that's going to be that episode. This has been uh, Slim Kirby. This has been Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'll see you guys next time when we do some of the extra stuff with World 2 and play more minigames. But first, we'll go ahead and watch this cutscene. Alright, see you guys next time.